Hey guys, I am back for another video with a brand new shirt on. 90s feels. I got this for 13 bucks on Target.com. I think it was on clearance at the time. Probably it still is when you see this. But anyway, I love anything to do with the 90s and that's what this video is going to be about because I found the 90s time capsule box. Now this had mixed reviews. This is also from Target by the way. Um, but I figured that I would get it myself and see what I think of it myself. Because again, I'm all about the 90s and I'm constantly trying to find stuff from the 90s on Etsy and all. So anyway, this says it is loaded up with 10 big surprises straight from the 90s. And I'm going to close that window that's behind this camera real quick because it's giving off such a glare. But this, the view is no better. I don't know where all that sun is coming from. Well, all the light's coming from. Anyway, let's just jump right into this and see if it's actually worth it. It doesn't look like on the box it tells you anything that's going to be in there. It just says surprises, so, um, yeah. Let's do this. Where's my scissors? I am opening this. I'm going to tell you guys my next video. Something freaky happened in the house last night. And I'm going to be sharing it with you guys in the next video. Um, I know that I'm going to have mixed reviews about it, but, um, yeah. I'm going to tell you guys about it in the next video. So, if you like scary stories or freaky stories, tune in to the next video. All right, so here it goes. Open up, what does it look like? I've never seen one of these open up before. Ooh, okay. It looks like it has a bunch of secret doors. So that's pretty cool. You don't just open it up and see everything. You actually have to open little secret passages. Do you guys see that? That is pretty cool says from 6-15-1999. Sup? How's it hanging, future person? If you found this note, it looks like you stumbled on our stash. This stockpile of totally dope gear is our time capsule straight from the 90s. This is not to be open for 20 years. Our goal is to share all of our essentials 90s swag with you, future person. So if the time is right, dive right in because this stuff is the bomb. And remember what they say, it's all, it's all that and a bag of chips. It makes me miss the 90s. Okay, so it looks like, oh, oh my goodness, guys, do you see that right on the lid of the box? It says, be kind, rewind. I remember that. That was from Blockbuster. Used to love Blockbuster. I know that there still is one more Blockbuster open somewhere in the world. I don't remember where. So this is a, oh, it's a sticker. So this is a sticker, and I don't know what you call that material, but you hear it? Yeah, it's cool. I love this. We actually found somebody's Blockbuster card out in the creek behind my house not too long ago. We still have it somewhere because I didn't throw it out. I thought it was so nostalgic to actually find somebody's Blockbuster card that I kept their card. Alright, so I don't know if that's the first surprise or not, but we will see. Anyway, this is a sticker. So, which door should we open first? Let's go with the solitaire one right here in the corner because I used to love playing that on the computer. Okay, so I opened it up and it just looks like solitaire. So I'm guessing this is a pack of solitaire cards because that's exactly what it looks like. I want to see the design on them. Oh my goodness! There goes the little beach theme and then it looks all pixelated. Can you guys tell? Yeah, so they're all beach theme. I don't know if each pack is different because I know there was different themes to this or if they're all beach theme, but there you go. That is pretty cool. I would definitely play with these. For sure, we'll play some solitaire. I don't know how much a pack of cards like this would cost originally. I know you can buy cards at the dollar store, but I also know that these are themed. So I'm trying to see if you get your money back with this box or not, but let's move on to the next little box. Let's do this one, the talk to the hand one. Whoop, what is that? Okay, so this is a I Love the 90s. Five cards, first series, they're trading cards. So you know we're definitely going to open them. Okay, so our first one is that little game, which is still around actually. I don't know what it's called. 
It says the sound of pulling the ball off the paddle is just so sweet. Enjoy it while it lasts because after three catches, the ball is ruined. Next one is a little cassette tape and it shows them trying to get the little film back in. It says, although it may be tempting, destroying your fingertip as a desperate alternative isn't worth it. Find a pencil. It is so cool. I actually used to have a cassette tape of the Spice Girls. I used to play on my little cassette player. Um, this one is that game. What the heck is that game called? I used to play that game all the time. It says, predict your future. Explore the complexities of your future with exciting and profound predictions such as ask again later and you smell. I have to see if they sell these cards just individually because I would love to collect these cards. Oh, this is one of the pictures. When you see it. No? Okay, chill out. If we tell you what it is, will you stop making that face? It's two squirrels. There's squirrels in here? Nope, still don't see the squirrels. The last one that comes in here is this again. The FBI warning. Logan actually just asked me about this because he's seen it. And I had to explain to him what it was. It says, don't go fast forwarding through this one or you will have the FBI knocking on your door. Let's stop the pri privacy here and now in the 90s before it gets out of control. Tracking. That's a good one. I remember that. All right, I love these cards. Again, I would love to collect them all if they sell them individually, like if they sell these packs without being in the box. But I don't know if they do. So let's just move on to the next one. Let's open up this one right here. With some gel color pens. You guys see that? Bella's going to love using these. I'm going to give them to her because she loves arts and crafts. But I remember writing on myself with these. These were so neat. All right, maybe I'll draw on myself a little bit and then give them to Bella. Oh my goodness, I used to love doing stuff like that. Okay, I like the gel pens. I don't know if they're worth it or not, but I like them. I think this box is worth it if you like the nostalgia part of it and going back in time. I'm not sure if you priced everything out individually, if it would seriously be worth it, but let's move on to the next one. So I'm going to open up this cup one right here because I remember those cups. They actually still sell cups like that in my local grocery store. All right, it looks like it got a little messed up in there, so I'm going to push some stuff to the side. This box definitely got messed up, so I'm going to have to open this little door right here to fix it. All right, so let's see what's in this door first, and then we'll see the cup. So in this door, it looks like we got tattoos and stickers. So here goes some armband tattoos. Here goes a butterfly one. It says your very own lower back temporary tattoo. <laughs> that is so cute. And then I think these are stickers. Yeah, these are stickers. Oh my goodness. I love this. I absolutely love this. The whatever as if thing down here. I love that. Oh my goodness, because I lived in South Philly, this S right here was everywhere growing up in school. Um, I love these. I love them. I, this is pretty cool, actually. All right, I'm taking whatever is in the cup section out now. I showed you guys that. So it looks like, it looks like this, but it looks like there is a slack band, and I'm not exactly sure if the slack band went somewhere else, and then it kind of like fell down and wrapped around the cup. But you do get a slack fan, and these are really fun. So until they break open, then the metal comes out, because then that really hurts. But this is fun. Ah, uh, I still fit. My wrists are tiny, though. Okay, so the second thing you get in there is an actual cup, and this feels like... Do you guys hear that? It feels like it's ceramic or something. So I'm going to guess that this cup is safe to drink out of, but it actually may not be. It doesn't say that it's safe. It doesn't say it's dishwasher safe. It doesn't say hand wash only. So I'm going to assume that maybe it's not okay to drink out of. 
But either way, this cup is everything. I actually think this cup may be my favorite thing from this box so far. I don't know why, but I think it's my favorite thing from the box so far. Besides the cards. The cards were really cool, the collecting cards. Alright, so, oh look, this had a picture on this door. None of the other doors had a picture, but this one does. <laughs> Inside snap. Yeah. Okay, anyway, I think we have, oh, we have a few more to open. So let's open the one down here. Oh, I'm gonna give this one to Chase because Chase can use this, but it's a sticky notepad of a messenger screen. Can you see that? I'm gonna take it out of the packaging. Too much of a glare with the packaging. Here it goes. That is awesome. That is so cool. Do you remember AOL Messenger and all that stuff? I remember that. This is awesome. I know Chase is going to love that. All right, let's open up the one down here. It looks like a VHS tape. Oh, okay. So that's where the armband went. It was down here, but somehow it went up and it wrapped around the cup. So that's where the armband went. Pretty cool. All right, looks like we have one more section to open. And it's the biggest section. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. It's a fanny pack. Do you guys see that? I'm so using this fanny pack, 100%. Seems like something is in there, though. Oh, I love this, guys. It's a bunch of butterfly bread clips. Oh my goodness. Let me show you guys a little bit more up close. You guys see them? There goes the pink one, and they gave us blue, yellow, and purple, too. Oh my goodness. I used to love these. Do you guys remember the metal ones? Like, they had glitter on them, but they were metal, and they, like, moved? I remember then. That was so cool. That was a neat little added surprise, but this fanny pack, I am so using this fanny pack. I don't care how it looks. It has a pocket in the back. That's pretty cool. And then it has a pocket in the front. I am obsessed with this box. I am so excited to use this. I am so using this. So I believe that that is everything in the box. It looks like we might be able to... No, I was going to say, it looks like we might be able to take the front off. I would like to take this front off and actually keep it and do something cool with it. But I don't know if I can. I'd have to look. That was such a cool box, guys. I wish they would come out with different ones from the 90s because there's plenty more stuff that they could add to these boxes. But that was awesome. I love reliving the 90s. There goes my little fanny back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> this was a fun, need it trip down memory lane. I love this box. Anyway, guys, I am going to go for now. The kids are actually at their dentist appointment and they should be back soon. So I'm going to clean up in here and I will see you guys in my next video. Give this video a thumbs up or comment down below if you want to see more stuff from the 90s. And until I see you in my next video, guys, where I tell you that terrifying story, I hope you guys have a good morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye, guys.